We take a look at the effects of the cold weather it's having on Cleveland. Right now, these are live pictures of East 80th and Superior, where a massive water main break broke overnight. Take a look. They have a lot of work uh, to do here, as you can see from those live pictures. So it sent crews scrambling to limit destruction. And as our Dave Arnold found out, they may not have been able to act quickly enough. If you were anywhere near East 80th and Superior's early morning water main break today, chances are you wish you weren't. Mud everywhere, back of my pants, shoes. Gladys Freeman told me she might not be back on this street until summer. It is a mess. This is ridiculous. It don't make no sense. Making sense of what this 113-year-old 48-inch pipe was and who it affected is Cleveland's Water Department Commissioner. The raw water mains are the mains that carry the untreated lake water from our Kirtland pump station at 49th and the Shoreway to the Baldwin water treatment plant. Nobody was ever out of water during this incident, nor will anybody go out of water. Nobody felt this from a water service perspective. While pumps siphon this now sinkholes water, a closed Superior Avenue not only hampered a hospital-bound ambulance, it also had an effect on businesses here. Of course it's going to hurt, but what are you going to do? I mean, nobody thought that this was going to happen. Yeah. Upset residents told me they seem to be last for preventive maintenance. I bet the water system downtown is okay. Everything on this side of 55th, hey, you hit. I ain't blaming the mayor, but somebody better get on their job. It's washed up all the But nobody's feeling this worse than building owner Raymond Johnson. It blew the front of his building in, filling it with water. His classic Jaguar, buried. I never thought that would happen. That's where I thought I would have it really protected and safe. Workers here are hopeful that this water main will be fixed in the next couple of days, but the road itself may be closed for a week. In Cleveland, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. The weather department told us that the century-old plus pipe was shut off in just 17 minutes, limiting damage. Its repairs should be done quickly. Fixing the road will take much longer than that.